Hello guys, this is Pop from Pop back at it again and today we are here with the first video of uh, the new stuff it, We have the Crystal Wing, Synchro Dragon, Clear Wing, Synchro Dragon together in uh, the classic starters deck upon Illuminate the Future now if you already saw the live streaming of yesterday the decklist is pretty much the same but I'm making the video not only to show you some replays that were actually crazy but also to uh, point out another combo that I actually realized was possible during the replays and of course it's in the replays basically we have another combo to summon Quasar in one turn of course we know Goyo Defender and we know skills not activating the skill then that's simply insane I wanted to show you uh, so I was so excited during that duel that I actually misplayed but you're gonna see it anyway and before jump before jumping right into it guys just a quick reminder if you enjoy the content please leave a like and subscribe I really appreciate it and it really helps me a lot let's jump right into it so I'm using a bond eliminates the future to get advantage of um, you know, instead of the searcher, most mm, more than that, we're we're taking advantage from the synchro chase that we got, right? So, um, let's get uh, quick to it. So, the extra deck is pretty much the same as the the build that I uh, showed you with uh, that were, that actually um, ended up the first turn with the Stardust Warrior and. Uh, a Cyber Slash Sharpie Lady, this time instead of that we have Status Warrior and of course Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon is even wor It's even better, but what's even better is that with this build we are going to use Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon negation effect two times in one turn. Why? Because this effect it's not a hard once per turn. What does that mean? For all who do not know, it's a hard once per turn when on a card it is written that the effect of Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon can only be activated once per turn. In that case, no, no matter how many copies you bring out, you can only activate the effect of that monster once. But when instead on a card you only see once per turn and there's no name of the cards, you know, there's no name of the card, then you, th that means that if you bring out multiple copies or if you actually use the effect, get this guy into the graveyard and then summon it back, you can use the effect again, twice. And stay tuned for the replay because the first one is just insane, we're gonna use two negation of this. And two negation of this plus of course the negation of the special summon of Sardar's Warrior, that's so freaking good. So. The deck list is Triple Junk Synchron, of course, uh, Triple Mono Synchron, that is our key to go into the Formula Synchron, and uh, then what else we have, of course, Triple Tuning, not Synchro Overtake, because if uh, on a side Synchro Overtake can be used to search for Junk Synchron, on the other one, it cannot be used to search for monosynchron. That's why you want a tuning, because with tuning you can even look for monosynchron. So we can just take out this, and this is the core of the deck. Then the other cards, you can just play what you want. You can play the staple you um, you prefer. There's no particular uh, thing you need to do. And then we have a triple junk converter and triple doppel warrior, because as I already explained, to go for your combo that ends up with Stardust Warrior and Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, you need uh, one of these two things. You either need to have Doppel Warrior in your starting end, and at that point, uh, um, uh, you just need to summon your Junk Synchron, and you have this in your hands, or you need to have Junk Converter in the graveyard. Uh, what does not change between the two combos is that you need to have a monosynchron in the graveyard. So you either you you always have to have monosynchron in the graveyard. Then at that point, if you have junk converter in the graveyard as well, you summon synchron carrier, then junk synchron, bringing back junk converter, and you go on. Instead, if you have uh, double water in hand, you just need monosynchron in the graveyard, you summon junk synchron, that special summon monosynchron, double water from hand, and you go on. I'm gonna show you, of course, these two combos as well during the replays. 
Uh, one copy of Synchron Carrier is enough. But here's a little tip for all the guys that do not have triple copies of Mono Synchron, and that could be very important because Mono Synchron can only be obtained by Stardust uh, from the Structure deck. So if you weren't if you weren't able to buy uh, two more copies, you can actually play more copies of Synchron Carrier and do it like this. Why? Because. With more Synchron Carrier, you can actually go into into Quasar, into Shooting Quasar, turn one, in one turn. Turn one, actually, or it, it can be even a turn two, I mean, whatever you want, it's just one turn of combo, and you need this guy in the graveyard. Uh, for that combo, you need a, qu a Carrier in the graveyard and two Junk Synchron in your hand, that's it. And you go, we're gonna see that together. Uh, of course, it's too easy to get a couple of Junk Synchron because we play basically six of them plus Junk Converter that can search for it, so it's just that easy. And you can even search a second one apparently with the skill, so it's just so easy to have a couple. So this is in case you do not have the double copies of Mono Synchron, the, the triple copy of Mono Synchron. And so let's go back to this. And of course, guys, for the, the remaining cards, you can just use whatever you want. Um, so what happens is that when you break, and it can happens that you break, um, what happens when you break is you just have a Mono Synchron in the graveyard, and then you have your Synchron Carrier and Junk Synchron. If you break, you can still go into Clear, clear Wing Synchro Drummond because you have access to level 7. And even if you break right there, you draw, you actually draw next extra card with formula synchron so it can be so nice you can do so much stuff for this i really love it um of course these were the staples that i used in the replays but you can play whatever you want or whatever you have i highly suggest to play dark hole i think dark hole is gonna raise up uh, in usage in uh, this meta because everyone is starting with a huge board full of monsters full of negation and the dark hole can just solve everything so <laughs> Uh, that could be basically the best turn one ever and uh, nothing guys stay tuned for the replays I'm gonna show you uh, everything of course also the new combo for um, uh, shooting quasar dragon so basically we have two combo to summon shooting quasar in one turn uh, either the one with two double water in end or the one or the combo with synchron carry in the graveyard and two junk synchron in your hand guys simply love this can't wait to experiment even more so stay tuned guys more videos to come and we can jump right into the replays here we go my boys first replay this was astonishing and it happened in live streaming so i was so excited this just is too much so uh, right here as you can see we're gonna do the combo with junk converter as i told you guys to have this board we're gonna end up in this duel you just need either junk converter in the graveyard or double water or one double water in hand um with the mana synchron in the graveyard so mana synchron um, searched with the tuning so we already had the junk converter in the graveyard milled with tuning but still then we grabbed um, uh, another mono synchron using the skill to grab the synchron carrier, the missing piece, right? Then synchro chase activated. We start with uh, synchron carrier, then additional normal summon of junk synchron to take back the junk converter this, uh, in this scenario. So first synchro summon into scarred warrior or the junk warrior, whenever you, whatever you, uh, you like. Then synchro chase, you activate synchro chase and junk converter, not the effect of synchro carrier. So Synchro Chase to revive Junk Synchron and uh, uh, Junk Converter to revive Mono Synchron. So there you go, we have all, uh, both the boys. Then uh, first Synchro Summon level 8, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, so easy. And then the other one into Formula Synchron. Why can we do this even if uh, Synchron Candy is level 2? For the effect of Mono Synchron, that says that when this card is used as a, a Synchro material, the other Synchro must be material must be a level four or lower Warrior or Machine, and they are treated as a level one. That's why you can do this. Formula a Synchron, of course, to draw a card. Another staple. We're chilling, and here comes the magic. So now, what happens is that if we use Formula Synchron's effect to Synchro summon Stardust Warrior, because we need a level ten, right? What happens is that Synchro Chase is going to be triggered. And we're gonna be able to bring back the boy. So, uh, first thing first is summon the Sky Blaster, activate the effect, negate. You wanna have Tango on, as soon as you negate this, you wanna use the effect of Formula Synchron. 
uh, into Excel Synchro of Stardust Warrior, of course. So now we have a negation of a special summon, but the effect of Synchro Chase gets in and we take back the Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. And now that the boy has came, has came back, you can actually use the effect again, as you're gonna see. Look at this. Or Kusrin's return, then he's got Pendulum Call, he's got everything in his hand. This was a, a, a Raging Pendulum, um, Raging, pa Raging Odd Eyes Orchest. He's got Dragon Pulse Magician, Dragon Pin Magician. <clears throat> Effect to pop our boy, we got the lens to protect. And then he's got Raging Pendulum Effect to have a couple of uh, Pendulum Monsters to summon with his Pendulum Summon, right? First Effect of Nightmare, Negate. No sending to the graveyard, then Pendulum Summon into how many monsters? Let's see, one, two, but we can just negate with Stardust Warrior. You negate everything and they go straight to the graveyard. And then in the end phase, Stardust Warrior comes back. That's how insane of a turn one this is. And it's pretty consistent, my boy. That's how you do it, there you go. Second duel, my boys. Let's see what this was about. So now we have. I actually, we need it sooner. Otherwise, we can't do nothing, right? So uh, we have Bora launch, and so he's got. Uh, oh, this is the first combo to have uh, a shooting quizzer in one turn because we have two double warrior. So junk synchron is perfect. We just use junk converted to grab mono synchron because we need. Uh, we always need mono synchron in the graveyard. Then we use this skill to grab a Junk Synchron, Synchro Chase is activated, and then we start with Junk Synchron, uh, using uh, this, uh, this effect to uh, summon Mana Synchron back, Compulsory, but lands, we have lands to protect. Uh, then we have uh, the effect of Doppler Warrior kicking in, so it summons itself, and then first Synchro Summon into Formula Synchron. Formula Synchron, draw an extra card, and then the effect of Doppler Warrior, as you can see, to summon a couple of tokens, one plus one, and we draw the card, as you can see, then uh, Synchro Summon into Scar the Warrior. Now we use the effect to, of Synchro Chase to summon uh, Junk Synchro, right? Now at this point, if we didn't have another Doppel Warrior, we could have just gone with the classic combo that I showed you before. This is just the second way to do it. We just go 3 plus 5 into Crystal Wing, and then we attack, and next turn, during my opponent's turn, I can just... Excel Synchro into Stardust Warrior, triggering Synchro Chase to bring back the Crystal Wing. That's it. This is the second way of the combo. But because we had another Doppel Warrior, look at the magic. So Doppel Warrior summons again, summons itself again. 3 plus 2 is 5. This is Junk Warrior hitting the field, and we're not done yet because 2 plus 5 plus 5 means that we have Shooting Quasar. One turn, no skill. That's how you do it this point we can just uh, use tuning just to thin the deck we can just attack we negate that because quasar can and then we just go for a little with the double attack that's how you do it my boys there you go stay tuned we're gonna show you we, i'm gonna show you the second uh, combo to have shooting quasar in one turn with this deck Third duel, my boys. I don't think it was this one, to be honest. Let's see. No, it's not this one. But this was another spicy one. So, it's uh, as to go second, unfortunately. It's got Dark Magiciano to summon, uh, to grab the secrets of Dark Magic. I have to revisit that deck as well, though. Uh, Dark Magicians, as you can see. Then it's got the Dark Magical Circle to draw also an extra card. He actually decided what to draw. That was pushing the darkness. So he's got this boy, this boy is very huge now because because he was summoned with a normal monster, this guy, actually this boy um, um, can get attack equal to the attack of the monster that he's battling with. So I started with Junk Converter to, to grab a Junk Synchron, then a Bounce Eliminate the Future. In this case, I could have done the combo I was talking about for Quasar turn 1, but I didn't actually because... In this case, Quasar uh, would have lost, because Quasar would have lost against the effect of Pristing the Darkness that pushes up this. Against this, we need the Crystal Wing, my boys. So, 
Uh, Synchro Chase, of course, it comes, um, uh, you can draw a card, of course, then we went with Synchro Carrier to uh, have the additional normal summon, bringing back Junk Converter, first Synchro Summon into Junk Warrior, using the effect of Synchro Chase to revive the Junk Converter, and the, the effect of Junk Converter to revive Mana Synchro. So there you go, we got both the boys have it, then second Synchro Summon into Formula Synchro, we draw an extra card, so we're chilling. There you go, and then we got uh, the Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Now, this guy has a very nice effect that gains attack equal to the current attack of the opponent's monster if he's battling. So, the Pristine Lama, the, the Darkness can't do nothing. Look at that 8800 Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. He uses the effect Negate. Well, that's so easy. That's so easy with Crystal Wing. Then he's got. Magician's Wrath, Negate with Crystal Wing, it's got Magical Dimension, we chain Formula Synchron, so we still have Stardust Warrior, and then we're gonna have Crystal Wing back again on the field, so he uses this to summon the Apprentice, now with the, the, the Magical Dimension he can pop Stardust Warrior, but we get the effect of Stardust Warrior, keep in mind that, so... First Apprentice, then Synchro Chase to revive the... Um, uh, Actually, first Stardust Warrior to summon another Warrior Synchro Monster, and then Crystal Wing comes back, and there's nothing good, you just cooked. That's how you do it, my boys. There you go. This was, guys, the second combo to summon Quasar in one turn. So, I misplayed, I'm so sorry I misplayed in this, but I still had to show you. So, as you can see right here, uh, he went first, he's got the Pendulum Color, we can speed things up, you know the, how this deck works, right? So. Let's make this quick. So it's got the off dragon, the dragon paid of course, raging pendulum to grab a couple of materials for his pendulum summon. Not the best choice though, I guess. So look at this, it's got level 6, level 7, and a couple of level 4. It's going into the Seasworm Roach, of course, to negate the Synchro Summon, best choice. So it's us to go first and I started with the perfect card I need. I already had Book of Moon, so anyway. Synchro, uh, actually Charlie's to begin with, and to be sad, I, I actually found this combo. Um, uh, it was casual because it was not wanted. You know what I mean? Because I happened to mill the synchro carrier, and I thought, oh no, I, I, I'm, I, I'm done. You know. Uh, and instead, it turned out to be very nice. As you can see, I, I grabbed Monosynchron, Junk Converter, Perfect Meal, I went with the second one, Junk Synchron, and then, boom, Synchron Carrier. And I said, oh no, what am I gonna do now? And I thought about it. So I used the skill to grab another Junk Synchron, because I cannot grab Synchron Carrier, because I play only one copy. Then, first thing first, Synchro Chase, right? We summon with Junk Synchron, we take back the Synchron Carrier. First Synchro Summon into Junk Warrior, level 5, and up now, until now, we're chilling, right? Then, Effect of Synchro Chase to revive what? The Synchro Carry, right? Now the Synchro Carry is revived, he has, no, he has no longer his effect negated. So now this means we have an additional Normal Summon. So additional Normal Summon into Junk Synchro. The effect activates again. And we're gonna bring back Junk Converter, right? We're not done yet. Synchro Summon with the Junk Converter though to summon the second level 5. But right now, Junk Converter's effect activates and we bring back what? Mono Synchron. Mono Synchron plus Synchron Carrier is Formula Synchron. So we draw a card and we have 12, level 12 on the field. So we draw and then look at this. One turn, shooting Quasar Dragon with no skill, second combo. That's so cool, my boys. Look at this. Insanely wonderful. We have a couple of back rows, and I and I, here I actually misplayed. I attacked. I'm gonna misplay in the turn, so um, I should have just waited for him to do his XC stuff to negate that. He started with Cosmic Sagan eating my Book of Moon. I don't know why. I wanted to protect that, and I negated misplaying because uh, he has this to pop it. I completely forgot about it. So he used that. He had the Noble Dragon, so I had to use it, but actually it's not a thing, you can just uh, flip this up, then he just goes into his Pendulum Summon, there's nothing, there's nothing I can do because I only have Forbidden Lands. So he went with the, the Lambo Dragon Magician, and he went with Trishula straight away. I could have just negated that, that and I would have been chilling, but 
I misplayed, guys. I just misplayed. So it's got just lethals, uh, of course. But still, guys, insane combo. So <laughs> that's how you do the combo, my boys. There you go. Last but not least, we have Jaden with his heroes, Hero Alliance to begin with. And it's him to go first. Of course, he started with Neos. So, um, Super Poly incoming, but we already have the, the answer to this. We just have Forbidden Land. So, unfortunately for him, we have everything. We're chilling. We can just go with Forbidden Lands to begin with to ensure no Super Poly is going to be activated. Then, tuning to grab the Mono Synchron. We have the Double Warrior, so we're chilling. We can just grab uh, another Junk Synchron. And um, then, Synchro Chase. Uh, junk Synchron to begin with, summoning the Demon of Synchron, triggering the effect of Double Warriors, Special Summon itself, first Synchro Summon into Formula Synchron to draw a card, and then has summoning a couple of tokens with Double Warrior, look at those. Then we have the level 5 Synchro Summon, Junk Warrior, using the effect now of Synchro Chase to bring out, uh, to bring back the Junk Synchron. Uh, so now we have the Crystal Wing incoming, pretty easy. And then we have the attack that he actually 3k to the face thanks to the effect of Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, very nice. It's a very powerful monster. It's got Stratus to begin with, you know what, negate, but it's got Super Poly, that's fine. Maybe I should have actually gone into, uh, I should have left this, I mean probably, and I should have just gone into uh, first the Excel Synchro and then into the negation probably, but still. Uh, it's got Great Tornado. Um, to swirl up a storm and then it's got Miracle Fusion as well so the sunrise is coming uh, to grab another Miracle Fusion but uh, I got, just got Book of Moon so you attack my Formula Synchro that's fine because now we just need nothing we just need Junk Converter in the graveyard actually we don't need Junk Converter in the graveyard because we have Synchro Chase so I just went with Junk Synchro at this point usual combo we can speed things up because this is just going into Stardust Warrior, of course. Uh, look at this, Stardust Warrior, Bonds Eliminate the Future, uh, cheating out a couple of Silent Dragons, then Stardust Warrior, uh, Dragon back to the extra deck, the, the, the last Tuna, Quasar to go for Lethal. That's how you do it, my boys. There you go. So guys, that was all for today's video. I was so excited for this when I found this out. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Of course, guys, stay tuned. Um, more videos to come even with Speedroids, of course, with the new Raging Pendulum. We have so much stuff to do. Uh, everything is going to come. Just stay tuned. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. And as always, see you in the next one. Thank you.